Hello guys, me again, and it's been a long time since you've seen me on camera. Well, you've never actually seen me, but um, since I've been on camera, and it's been even longer still since you've seen one of my prop weapons. So I'm really excited about this, I've been working on it for quite a while, and I hope you're just as happy about it as I am. And so, I'm not going to let you wait any longer, here is the new Prop FAMAS F1. And yes, it is pronounced FAMAS, I don't care if the creative bird says FAMAS, which is like a... I, I don't even famous. I don't even know where he came up with that, but no offense to the guy. He's really cool. But anyways, yes, this is the FAMAS F1, a French assault rifle, 25 rounds. It was introduced in the early 1970s, and it's been around forever. It's pretty much the bread and butter of the French military. Uh, this gun is a bullpup design, and not a dog. That means basically that the magazine is behind the grip, and uh, that, that's how it operates, so you have to go behind it. And that is... Let's just go over some of the working features. It's got a removable magazine with a 22 bolt, 223, no, 223, yes, 223 bolt in there. It's got a working charging bolt and a working trigger. That's actually the most responsive trigger I've ever built. I'm quite pleased with it. And it's also got, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got iron sights there. So uh, I know some of you are seeing this and going, wait a minute, that this looks a lot like the Creative Birds, uh, to, like, you know, prop weapon. And... I'm just going to start off by saying, so that way you guys don't freak out, I did not steal his design. I was inspired by it. I actually uh, had the idea to build the FAMAS a qu quite a while ago, because I figured it was the easiest uh, assault, ri assault rifle to build. I cannot speak today, I'm sorry. But I figured it was the easiest assault rifle to build, and uh, like a couple, or like a month later or so, he came out with a tutorial and said, oh, okay, so I will take some inspiration from this. So yes, there's like one or two features that um, I kind of, you know, was inspired by, I took from his uh, tutorial there, but there's a lot different, I uh, put my own twist on this to try and make it, you know, my own. So uh, let's just talk about this a little bit more in detail. So this is made out of foam core, foam core poster board, I always mess up saying that, cereal box cardboard and little strips of balsa wood going on there. It's also got some electrical tape and, uh, what do you call that, uh, cardboard tube or whatever, like a bottle cap. So uh, this gun, it t took a very, very long time to build. I, you know, went through all the detailing, and I tried to, like, figure out how I was going to build it, and, uh, I didn't follow the tutorial completely, I, like, like, like I said before, I took some inspiration from it, so don't freak out, going, oh my god, you stole from the creative bird, what is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me, but, this gun, I, I hope you guys like it, so I'm just going to talk about some of the processes, so I started out by, uh, just, you know, putting everything together, I did some detailing here, as you can see, like, those triangular slits, I did some uh, little cereal box cardboard holes there and stuff, just with some detail there. A little hinge piece, and just like the real gun, there's that gray piece near the magazine. In the magazine, you can see empty 22 shells, gray lines, and the bullet, of course. And the bullet is dented. It actually cannot fire. That's why I used it. So, again, don't freak out. It's got uh, some detailing here in the grip. It's got some holes there. That is actually not in the real gun, but the uh, grip looked pretty bland by itself. The barrel, like I said, is a cardboard tube with small rings around it and little diamond slits. And let's see, what else? Alright, yeah, that's right. The grip, it's got electrical tape, so it's a very grippable grip, as I like to say. You know, it's really smooth in the fingers there. Um, it's got a wooden dowel, because the real gun, it's got like this. I don't even know what it is, to be quite honest, but it's got like this little cylinder thing going on on both sides of the gun. That actually reminds me, I also have an ejection port right there, cereal box cardboard, that's silver gray, little hinge pieces there, and uh, let's see, back here, I have a tiny bit of rolled up cardboard tube, with some end caps there, and on the stock, which is, the stock was one of the, the part I'm like most proud about, one, one of the parts I'm most proud about, instead of just being completely flat, as you can see, it is angled, so it's kind of rounded. So that way it like, fits pretty nicely in the shoulder. It's surrounded by balsa wood, kind of framed there. And it actually, it's really nice. Like there's literally 21 different pieces that make up that angled look there. So that's that. And uh, hmm, got some detailing here. Again, a very grippable grip. So that you, you know you can grab it and it's actually, uh, you know, pretty. it feels really cool. It's a full 30 inches and it's actually three pounds because I stuffed it full of rocks and dead batteries. So... It, like, you pick it up. Like, every single person I've handed it to picks it up and goes, Wow! Bro, that's heavy. And I'm like, yeah, I made it that way. So, uh, it's got a couple working features, like I said. Movable that thing, movable that thing, removable this thing. 
And uh, a, the final touch that I made to it after painting it was I spray painted a paper towel silver and I brushed all the edges as you can see there and I brushed the barrel that actually looks like real metal. So everything, all the edges, I brushed to try to make it look you know, like a war-torn gun and it turned out really good. I'm actually really proud. Um, I forgot who it was, but I like one video a long time ago, I saw it. Uh, Suggest you know spray paint a paper towel and brush it on there. And I was like, hey, that's a good idea. I'm gonna take that. And uh, so I don't know, I don't know your name, but whoever came up with that, you're cool. I like you. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about it. It took me weeks to build this. Excuse me, I'm running out of breath. Can I breathe for a minute? <gasps> okay. Anyway, it took me a very long time to build this, and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded. I've been talking about it forever, but now it's finally here. And now you can finally see it, and so that's pretty much all there is to say about it. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, then leave a like. If you thought I was gay, leave a dislike. I'm not gay. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. It always helps. This has been the Dork Vlogs, and I'm out.